so welcome back to World of Horror. I, I like I liked it a lot the first time I played it, so I wanted to play it again. This is happening at 3 a.m., so I'm going to do my best to find a way to do this kind of quickly. But there's an update. Occult capital of Japan. So custom enemies. Um, there's a worked reworked timeline system. Timelines will determine the endings of certain mysteries. Two new difficulties have been added, allowing you to make runs both slightly easier and slightly harder. Cool. Alright, chat, uh... So, new story. What did I do last time, chat? What was my, uh... Well, we can stick with this for now. Um... So I can do customize, right? And then... I, Jeff, do you have any ideas for what would be a good run? This is a full run. So what do you think would be good for, like, let's say half hour, 45 minutes? I mean, there is an easy mode. Endless mode is cool, it's in custom. Yeah, but endless doesn't sound like it would only be a half hour. You will die. Pick the new easy difficulty, it has four cases. Is everything else easier, or...? I'm gonna try, um, a new character that I haven't tried yet. <laughs> this dude's got good perception, but less dexterity. Starts with a camera. Um, difficulty... Skeptic. Threat lever... <laughs> lever? Threat level lowered weaker enemies. Yeah, we could do a, a kind of a, a skeptic run tonight, and it'll be good because it'll get me more into the game, too. There's four cases. Um, I start with a lot of stuff. Eventually, we'll move on to higher difficulties, but this will be good for tonight. It'll be good for a, a quick run. Character background. Medical history. Start with extra experience and bandages, but each damage can cause an injury. Uh, we'll just do this then. Extra options. Prioritize new content. That's a good option. Classic mode, old gods are awakening. Your only chance is solving five different mysteries. Vinny, you picked the hardest difficulty. Oh, how do I go back? There's really no way to go back, is there? Alright. Well, that could be a future update. You can press Q to instantly restart. No, it's not happening. Oh, press Q. Okay, I see what you mean, though. Um, alright. Alright, so... Customize, once again. 
World of Horror base game. Um, World of Horror, yes, continue. Alright, continue, randomize, 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 continue. So we, we saw this last time, the robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night, people are going missing, disgusting creatures are terrorizing, and uh, shit's crazy. Old gods are re reawakening, chat. So, okay, once again, we're gonna go with Koji. Difficulty will be skeptic. And just regular old background. Okay, good. And classic mode. And, um... The Spider God. You can't run from combat. Classic mode is normal mode, so full run. No, isn't that, um... Isn't that only four? With low difficulty, that should be fine, yes. Attack. Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber, blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger. It has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Okay, so I think we're gonna get the four mysteries. We're gonna see right here now, I think. If I enter the lighthouse. You need five keys, but one's already open. So that's four mysteries. That's that's good. That's a better, quicker run. Um, I'll equip the camera. How are you guys feeling about this background? It's good. Alright. I like it. I can deal with it. I think it's cool. Alright, so if you haven't seen me play this, definitely watch my first playthrough of it. It was my first time playing it. I'm still, like, at a point where I don't fully know what the fuck I'm doing, but I enjoyed it enough that I wanted to play more of it. So I'm gonna get a small experience boost. And, uh... Right. There's the peephole. Let's see what clothing options we have here. <laughs> yeah, we can we can put them in a in like a vacation shirt. No, I mean we'll give him his default camera outfit. That makes the most sense. You found some money. All right. Watch TV. Some of our readers report a tall, strange man dressed in white taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Right. So... Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time. You mark down five of them. You can tac tackle the five mysteries in any order. So we got... The first one's done, so now it's just here. Here. I found footage again. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Well... While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself, please. Gonna try to buy an uh, item at the item dog. Well, maybe I don't want a knife because I don't have dexterity. This is a dex weapon.
plus two experience for each investigated location. That's a slot C. Do I have that available? Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna equip that. And then uh, I'm gonna head to Seaside and go to the hardware store. Maybe I will buy a crowbar? A crowbar seems good. Alright, we are all equipped up. Easy mode is, is great. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna investigate the apartments. Mr. Redacted, your neighbor is a horror manga artist, struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. So we saw this already. Um, what's that picture? You catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. Did I just get a fuckload of doom from that? That doesn't seem very good. Just one percent. Oh, I already had the eight doom. Okay. So, uh, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? Must be empty. Because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Stare in disbelief. How is this possible? <laughs> it's just a weird thing on a chalkboard. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. I know where this is gonna go. I've seen this before, chat. I've heard about it. I mean, it's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Sorry, I just needed to, because the, the text was getting kind of weird. So I'm going to just do this in windowed mode. That's better. So, investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. There's a side quest here, Chad. I'm going to skip side quests so I can finish the run kind of quick, but... As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice-cold water is a good idea. Cold bath. Strength check failure. Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath and you can feel a cold coming on. Minus two stamina. Shit. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? I'll do- I'll do the side quest. <laughs> I changed my mind. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse carried to the beach by waves. Let's search the body. Failure dexterity check. Reaching for the body, you're attacked by several crabs that don't want to share their meal. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Oh. Oh, fuck. Drowner sponge. Remember, I can't escape from combat, chat. Um... Yeah, that, that's good. Oh, man.
I'm not feeling very positive about this. Using your camera makes further attacks easier to hit. It's in your support options. Combat skill. Um, camera flash. Temporarily blinds the enemy. Turn three begins, okay. Almost dead. Dead. Plus 10 XP. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. Shit. Okay, so we have to check the apartments. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Something is trying to get in. Some- oh, it's a clown man. Apartment stalker. Oh, no. Let's do camera flash. And we missed the attack. Good. I got an injury. I, I have a concussion! Minus one to knowledge until the end of the current mystery. Oh no. Got it. Prepare your attack. Attack. Dead. You can stack the aim. Attack boost stack. Oh, thank you. Good to know. Got a baseball bat. Kind of was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. This is a two handed weapon. Damage 4, speed 95, chance to hit 80. Uh, it's a strength weapon. I wonder, is this better than the crowbar? It's just a straight upgrade, yeah. Yeah. That's so weird, your ra neighbor really was into eels, it seems. Dear God. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Ah, oh, I didn't read the notes. Sorry. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Legend from the blank prefecture. Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all villagers, dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Ah, uh, yes. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder if he's what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Minus two reason, plus one item. Got a ring. Plus one charisma. Use. Gain two funds. Okay. 
Think about- think about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Kana? Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you are not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she is getting closer. Wait, what's that? You found an item steak knife. It's a dex weapon. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Keep the knife to throw. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Here we go, we're investigating the apartment. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels, flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Check the bathroom. Swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Minus one reason, minus one stamina. Check the bedroom. You finally found... find Kana. I found the neighbor, but his eye burst. I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. Um, we must go to the hospital, or we must puncture her eye. You gotta do it. Ugh. Shocked, you see tiny, countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will she even survive the blood loss? You rush to a hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken in immediately to an operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. You wake up. Wake up, dude! You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. You still process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in eyes? Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. So I think I got the best ending. And I saved her life. Got 30 experience, plus 15 for a thorough investigation, and I got some stamina and reason, minus doom. Very good. The old god stirs. The air is heavy, making it hard to breathe. Your rest action is less less effective. I got a Kraken raid too. This is the fourth raid today. That's amazing. You guys, you guys are amazing to me. Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm very lucky. Um, except, you know, if you didn't see, I just poked someone's eye out with a needle, and then before that, there was a raid while my character was pregnant and screaming. So... 
But then again, I yeah, I am streaming pretty late, so... Understood. Dick Hole Drivers, my favorite TV show. Um, we'll get some experience boosts. I'd like to level up. Okay, so, quick thinking. Dexterity. Throwing items during combat encounters more effective. And knowledge increase. I'll get reason here. But, um... Maybe knowledge? Or re-roll for- yeah, we'll re-roll. Re uh, improvise. Throwing items, uh, Outdoorsman is plus one luck. And no, I'm gonna get the luck. I- I like luck in video games. Only one changed, but I'll take luck. So, um, we're gonna watch some TV. A minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local scientists believe some of the corridors could be man-made. Alright, next. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Redacted Manor is one of them, supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer, but is it the only tragic event that took place there? Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Ouch. The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from a newspaper and prepare to leave. Let's go to the dog shop. I have four funds. Should I buy the flashlight? Yeah. Chat says flashlight's a good idea for this next one. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous before he enters the house. He turns around as he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? I'm gonna follow the weird man. Nothing happens, plus 2% doom. Alright. Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally found the one. There's only one problem. You'll need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Something pulls you toward the beach. A statuette half buried in the sand is calling to you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. I ignored it. Despite your sudden desire, you get a hold of yourself. Moving away from it, you quickly forget the whole encounter. Plus five experience. I'm gonna do the seaside again for the side quest. Fuck it. Ocean is hungry. You're stopping by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. C can you help me? Talk them out of it. Unable to convince yourself, or convince the person, you close your eyes as they jump off the cliff. Oof. You've learned the cliff, the mansion, was built on as famous for its extensive cave system. You've decided to rent some books that might help you. 
You make it through the window. There's an abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. You feel watched. Uh... Retreat. Fuck, minus two reason. Uh, I got the architect's journal. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concert hall, he claims. Should I hold on to that, or...? Article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. Search for the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on the cavern wall. 415HZ. The Herald is the important one. It hurts. Yes, hurts. It just did, I don't know. Putting your hand in the hole was a bad idea. Seeing the spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. And I have an injury. Bite. Hopefully it'll go away on its own. Well, it's only a minor injury for now. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. So it's bound in human flesh. I have, um, failed, and I now have a curse. Your head swims with countless blasphemous voices. Holes. Each day, more holes appear. Nice! Nice. Following a suspicious person, I used up all my good luck in the first run. Um, you enter an old, rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk. Only has two doors. One of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Search the room. I find a broken bottle. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. Um, you scare away the annoyed predator, rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Okay, so there's the ring again. In the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. You remove his gag, though. The man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall on the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Nice. Wait, what's that? Curious statuette. Plus one knowledge while held in inventory. Alright. The art classroom. Um, we did this one. I'm not gonna read it. Check out the masks. And, uh... One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take the item with you. Plus one damage, minus four max stamina. You're already down like ten stamina. Yeah, I do have the compass though. It looks like, uh, my injuries... What's going on with my injuries? Uh, I have an infected wound. Minus one dexterity, minus one perception. Uh, 
Oh, that's the flashlight. I see. I see. That doesn't replace the compass. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak, but it, the dark, dusty room is empty. But something feels wrong. Faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotten carpet aside and reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade mesmerized you take a step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Um, I'm going closer, right? I want to do the, the Hertz thing. Explore if you want the real ending. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Oh, I see. You follow a winding corridor until you stumble upon something really strange. Someone has set up a series of vintage-looking speakers, all connected to a single unit. The speakers must be the source of the sounds. You see a knob allowing you to change its frequency. 4.15. No, I wanted to know. I needed to know exactly, because I wanted to do this and not end the thing. You can only see this room if you have the flashlight. Oh. Acoustics of the underground cave makes the waves and the machine tone create a ghastly melody shaking to the bone. As you move closer to the stone altar, you scream in terror. You're not the only one charmed by the sounds. The cursed chants amplified by the cave system make you dizzy to your horror. You notice the sound has awakened something else. Oh. That's a lot of HP. <laughs> I have, um... No hope. Time needed 100. Uh. Oh. Alright, well. I can think of worse ways to die. Clap. Bow. Pray. There is an option above no hope. This action requires an ally. Its attacks only add doom. I can't even run. Oh, I, I can run. Almost tripping over the countless human bones, you decide to run from the cave. The haunting melody continues to follow you as Otero begins its reign of terror in the waters surrounding Shuakawa. Unholy chants coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. Awakening Otaru almost made you share their fate. You decided to run, afraid of the dire consequences. The inner coil always gets its victim, and the fisherman looks so tasty. I mean, I'm, I'm alive. More holes are spreading on your body. Kinda. Folklore studies plus one knowledge. 
Improvise and Perception. Oh. Extra EXP bonus for completing a mystery. Uh, perception, additional inventory slot. My allergies are going mental. Um, allergic to holes, yeah, seriously. I'm gonna just get uh, additional inventory slot, that's fine. Or you know what? Nah, perception. I'm gonna restore some reason. That's fine. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Okay. What does that mean for me right now? Downtown is fucked, I guess. Alright. Well. I will take a bath now. And I will get some stamina back. And... We need to go to the hospital, I think. Bizarre brute of blood-curdling botanist. So your neighbor has asked you to help. Her husband, Shiro-san, has gone missing. She's worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. What is he doing and where is he? So I have items storage. I have this ring. I could sell it for a fund. But, it, you know, some dexterity. I'm gonna wear the demon mask, by the way. <laughs> Look at that on the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna heal my, uh, my holes. What should I do, doctor's office or pharmacy? Okay. Painkiller. Additional actions available on the injury cards. Modern medicine can't help. <laughs> Fuck. Surgery for the... Yeah, I mean, at least we could do that. Blood loss. Minus 10% max stamina. Oh, damn. Yeah, those holes are fucked. Painkiller is plus two stamina, but it's addictive. I just took them once. Should be okay. So we're gonna go downtown. sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. It's a ghoul. Okay, got some experience. Shirosan has 
always been a weirdo, but he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a pack of experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with the address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. Two chopped off heads. Okay, um, I'm going to research. I get a spell. Third eye. Plus one knowledge and perception until the end of the mystery. Costs three reason. It's free reason. While the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid. You think you can make out the address, at least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the nearby forest. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did these fishermen go? One bite won't hurt. Feeling the eyes of the restaurant's guest on your back, you take a small bite of the smelly seafood. It's surprisingly good, but you kindly refuse another serving. Plus five experience, one, ex one stamina. <laughs> it's dark, you don't remember the trees growing so close to each other. Sudden storm forces you to find a shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Use the flashlight. Flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. They help you interpret the spell instruction drawn on the cave's uh, wall. Skin removal. Combat offensive. Deals five damage at the cost of three reason. <laughs> uh, the investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus 4% doom. Shit. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Ah, uh, I don't have the steak knife. Investigate. Well, I got the knowledge check completed and, uh, you know, some experience. Uh, you have a feeling that you're being watched when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Confront. It's just a creepy scarecrow. Relieved, you decide to leave the area just in case. Plus 5% experience. The scarecrow walks. Finally, after what feels like hours of following the dirt road, you find an old mansion. The old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's a gardening company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You stand in the middle of the room when suddenly the floor gives up and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the hole in the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Protect. Oh, this is weird. Okay. This turn, the plants will attack you instead of Shiro-san. So I need to lead? Double lead? Plants are attacking you, you must protect the injured Shiro-san and lead him to safety. He will continue to lose health each turn. Protect, lead. Doorway is blocked by thick branches, you need to find a way out. It's just those two options. You protect, and then walk. You can lead him until he's low health, then you protect. It's 
fairly low health now. Three each turn. He can take one more hit. Yeah, that's true. Okay, now we protect. So protect and lead. Shit. Protect and lead. Uh oh. Protect, lead. Rip. No way to live now. Only choice is to lead twice. Yeah, you're right. Lead Shiro twice. Yes! Holy fuck. Plants continue to attack you as you and the gardener flee from the forest, only to suddenly stop and you reach the city limits. You manage to call an ambulance from a phone booth, but lose consciousness before it arrives. You wake up in the hospital, your wounds treated. Oh, I'm dead. The holes killed me. So, I got experience, I got minus 5% doom, I got some reason and stamina, right? <laughs> Time passed one day, more holes are spreading on your body, minus 2 stamina. You're not dead yet? Oh, okay. The friendly dog disappeared last night. God damn it. I will take a bath. Take the mask off for more stamina? Is that how that works? No, it's just maximum. Well, I have two stamina now. We are all good. So, it's getting really late. I'm not going to be reading this one, because I did this one last time. And I'm probably going to die anyway. So, uh... Yeah, it's good. Let's go to the hospital. I'm going to sell my prized camera. Oh, wait, 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 we, could, we can rest. Right, right, right. Stamina reason. Stamina reason. Am I gonna get addicted to painkillers? Alright, this is gonna be speed mode, chat. So, I already read through this last time. I'm sorry I'm not going to read this, but we're just going to do this. I'm going to read it to myself and try to get through it very quickly. Good opportunity to check the school's database. Um, check it out. Minus 2% doom. Okay. Something's wrong. You don't see anyone in the street. Minus 1% reason. Someone said, buy acid? Sure. Do the side quest this time for a different ending. Sure, okay. Investigate mansion twice. Oh, I'm gonna level up too, yeah. Um, so we're gonna level up with... Allow switching equipment during combat encounters. Eh. Charisma, knowledge...
I'll just get folklore and I'll get strength. Local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn, stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Check out the sewing mm. machine. Got the spell. Enthrallment. Gain an additional follower. Discard on use. Costs four reason. I got the spell. I cast it. I now have Ikumi. Plus one to all skill checks in other world locations. Cool. You were startled to discover a headless body. You were so hor horrified that when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Oh. I'd really be missing all my attacks though, even with 80%. attack boost. I got an item, black hair, combines with sewing kit. Strange. Legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. So we're gonna go to the village. Unseasonal floods have closed off many of the roads. Look for an alternative way. You wasted a lot of time. Plus 3% doom. You follow the faint sound of a telephone to a telephone line pole the moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it. Really? They start to twitch and rise. Come on. Ah. Oh. Katoru. Allergic to balls and holes. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe that's why my allergies are going crazy. You find a pile of human teeth lying on a rock nearby. Good. Dropping, uh, drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip. Minus one reason. Uh oh. Oh yeah, no, we're yamming. This is a yam stream right now, chat. I knew what I was doing. Starting this at like 3 a.m. It said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. I got the spell abolish. discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Let's search the tent. And, uh, oh! It's been torn to shreds. The amount of gore inside leaves no doubt about what happened to the owner. Minus two stamina. Gore tent. Following the trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. Statue looks alien and menacing. Pray. You discover a small piece of paper tucked behind the statue. And I got experience for that. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Sport. Kinoko Gatherer. I 
I might be dead. No, not yet. Kinoko means mushroom. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna remove- I'm gonna forget skin removal to get more reason. The trees overhead block the sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Minus two reason. Okay. Goodbye, spells. Rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointing at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear curious sound coming from the hole. Peek. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you are looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. That's why you got me to buy acid. Very nice. You open the can of acid and empty its contents into the well. The house's foundation shakes as the massive creature's eyes burn. Walls begin to collapse as you pass out from the toxic fumes. You wake up later with the cassettes in your trembling hands. So this is the best ending. Um, even though the holes are still spreading. But, hey, I got a level up. Deduction. Additional inventory slot. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll one more time. Improvise. Fast hands deduction. God damn it. Oh well. Something wrong with the tap water, it's black and oily. Yes. No, oh, we got the key. We get to take a shitty bath. And, uh, then I think we can rest a little bit. Town screen. Where's the resting area again, chat? How can I rest? Can I go, like, downtown? You can rest at the lighthouse? Oh. Enter lighthouse. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so rest a bit. Probably want to stop resting now. That's enough. Should I put the black hair in storage? Don't read chat for enemy questions, I dare ya. Okay, sure. I won't. I'm just gonna... figure it out myself. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. Tiny page nailed to the gate explains opening the gate will require you grab two metal rods. Power up your butt. Oh, right, right. Knowledge check passed. You're about to grab the rods, but when you notice the dials and buttons, uh, you toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. Nice. So, knowledge check passed. Following the winding staircase, you stop. Wait a minute, someone's been taking your photos. They focused on the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong. So, I gotta figure out what the second enemy I fought was. Um, I'm not looking at chat. I'm gonna say it's the apartment stalker. Correct! 10 experience. Nice. Following the winding staircase, you find the metal gate that blocks your way. Cable should be powering it. Currently disconnected. Power box itself is covered in a weird, moist goo. Strength check. Success! Weird goo burns your fingers. But you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. 
following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. Light your way. The light source repels the darkness, and you continue to climb. Nice! Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice electrical cable. Connects the door to a hole inside the central pillar. Switch inside. You have to risk getting cut by numerous glass shards and knives. Failed. Minus three stamina. Not enough dexterity. Did I arrive too late? Nope. Well, that was fun, even though this was, uh, like, uh, my allergies are going mental again. And it's four in the morning, and it's on easy mode, the brand new easy mode skeptic. But I'm glad uh, to have played a run tonight, it was a good one. Oh, and holes, too. Make no mistake, there were holes. Next time, I will not be playing this on easy mode. Okay. So, encountered 10 new enemies, 18 new events, 4 new achievements. Beep. Yeah, about an hour. Check the achievement board? Oh, next time. I do like this game a lot, but let's, um... I'll, I'll play it again after Halloween, at some point.